Listen to me. They didn't believe you. And now they are confused. They didn't believe you. They have been waiting for you to fall back. Fall back into the same cycles. Fall back into the same habits. Fall back into the old you. They don't understand that the old you is dead, okay? And the new you is alive. The new you is moving forward. The new you is prospering. The new you is increasing. They don't even recognize the new you. They are very confused. They are very concerned, okay? Listen to me. Now, this is a prophetic word for somebody and it's not for everybody. And you must test the spirit behind every single prophetic word including mine okay but if you was led to click on this video i want you to know that it is not by coincidence the holy spirit wanted you to hear this word and to receive this word now i invite you guys to you know become a follower of this ministry this is a ministry of the lord jesus christ okay and, you know, I go by the name of Luhu Barbie, if you are new. And when I say that, I mean luxury. And when I say luxury, I mean the real luxury. And when I say the real luxury, I mean inner peace. You see, Jesus Christ, he is the Prince of Peace. He is the full bodily revelation of the living God. And I am his daughter. And today I'm here to bring you some peace. So I welcome you to my channel in the name of Jesus. If you are new, please, please, please smash the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications and just comment down below your name and where you are from, okay? I want you guys to really connect with this word as much as you can in the comment section. You know, every single action that you take is a seed being planted. So make sure that you sow those seeds into this video so that you can reap the harvest. Now, listen to me, okay? You see... The person who this word is for, you have surrendered, okay? And you have offered yourself to the Lord as a living sacrifice. Now, there is somebody in your life, okay? And you know, this word is not just for one person, it is for many. But there is somebody in your life or a few people in your life that are very confused, okay? They are confused and they have been waiting for you to fall back. But you're not going to fall back. You can't fall back. Why? Because the old you is literally gone. Dead. Okay? And the new you is powered and empowered by the Holy Spirit. This is the spirit of the living God. This is the spirit of the Alpha and the Omega. The Almighty Father in heaven. Listen to me. They don't understand what's going on. You see, when you are saved by God, right? But not just when you are saved by God, when you surrender to God, okay? And you know, surrender doesn't always happen overnight. Sometimes there's a process of surrender. Because within, throughout our lifetime, you know, we allow a lot of things and a lot of people, a lot of thoughts, okay? We allow a lot into our lives, okay? And, you know, not everything that we allow into our lives, not everyone that we allow to in allow into our lives serves us, okay? Serves us, serves our purpose, and, you know, most importantly, serves the living God. And, you know, sometimes we start by, you know, surrendering and, you know, letting those things go that do not serve us and that do not serve God. But, you know, when it comes to the people that we love, when it comes to the people that we know and the things that are familiar to us, okay, the people that we have been listening to or walking with for a very long time, it can be hard for us to let go. Why? Because it's what we're used to. But whoever this word is for, you have surrendered. You have made a decision to walk that narrow path, okay? To let go of the things that were keeping you bound okay to let go of the ideas some of you guys have thrown away physical things okay and you know the people around you they didn't believe you when you told them that you was done they didn't believe you when you told them that you was done with 
the things that were keeping you bound and the lifestyle that you was living and even them somebody who is watching this video they didn't believe you when you told them that you was done with them they've been waiting for you to come back they've been waiting for you to fall short they've been waiting for you to fall back into these same cycles that were destructive to your mind to your spirit okay to you your soul your mind your will and your emotions and to your body right they really didn't believe you and they are starting to get very confused. You see, somebody is coming to contact you, okay? Somebody is going to come into contact with you, okay? And, you know, they are going to almost dismiss the fact that you are done, right? They are going to dismiss everything that you have told them. They are going to dismiss everything that you are doing because they don't want to see the truth they are not ready to see the truth and they are not willing to see the truth so instead they walk straight past the truth okay and they are going to continue to walk in you know the realm of feelings the realm of their own desires the realm of their own will their own mind and you know they are going to contact you and you know invite you or offer something to you to bring you backwards listen to me do not engage with them do not spend your time explaining yourself to them listen to me you must understand this for real when somebody doesn't want to walk in the light when somebody isn't ready to let go of the darkness, you must leave them behind. You must leave them behind. Because you see the serpent, when the serpent comes, he's very subtle. He doesn't come being bold, you know. I don't want to let you... I don't want to let you be free. I don't want to let you grow. I don't want to let you prosper, okay? I don't want to see you in the light. I want to see you how I've always seen you, which is right wrapped around my finger, exactly where I want you. Accessible, okay? Accessible on my level or maybe below. Listen to me. The people around you are going to start acting very different when you start walking in your purpose. Because the purpose, your purpose, okay? And the purpose that they have created for you in their life is two completely different things. They've never seen you prosper like this before. They've never seen you shine like this before. And some of you might not understand, what do you mean prosper? What do you mean shine? Because you may not have seen much movement in the physical realm, but spiritually you are glowing. Spiritually you are up, okay? You are high. You are so much higher. And this is showing through through, through you to the head to the, to the toe, okay? Listen to me for real. You see, when people decide to come and, you know, act like things are the same as before when they're clearly not, when people decide to dismiss the fact that you are deciding to walk a specific path, which is the righteous path, when they, when, when they want to invite you into the darkness, when they want to offer the darkness to you, you must let them go. They don't respect you. They don't respect where God is taking you okay and you don't have a second okay you you cannot afford to give a second of your time to these people because it's not even them they are confused the devil knows exactly what he's doing and he will use the people around you that you love to keep you bound he will use your family members the bible says a man's enemies will be the ones out of their own household and he will use your closest friends he will use the people that were once guiding you okay he will use your boss at work he will use you know the people that were once guiding you and you was listening to them but you wasn't moving forward there was no increase there was no you was not prospering do you understand what i'm saying to you and he will use these people because of what you are used to. He will use these people because of your heart and, you know, soul ties. Okay, listen to me. You must understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You must understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You see, these people in your life are going to start contacting each other to almost 
figure out what is going on with you okay the friends that have never spoken to each other before will start teaming up against you okay and you know it's not going to be a thing where they're necessarily going to you know be bullying you but they're going to be talking about you talking down on you because the spirits that are possessing them or oppressing them they don't want to see you win and they don't want to allow these people to see you in the light they want to keep you in the darkness where you was okay listen to me for real listen to me the bible says you cannot be you know unequally yoked with unbelievers you cannot walk with somebody who is standing in the darkness who is sitting in the darkness who is chilling in the darkness who is content in the darkness you can't because you will end up trying to pull them into the light but instead of you pulling them into the light you will get dragged backwards okay and this is something that is happening in the spirit this is not something that they are doing out of their own strength and this isn't something that you are necessarily doing out of your own strength okay this is something happening in the spirit but you need to learn to let go of them the lord is saying somebody is going to contact you this person who contacts you is going to completely dismiss your walk with christ is going to completely dismiss what you are saying okay they might call it a phase they might say oh it's fine don't worry it's not that deep it's not that serious let's go here let's go to the place where we we used to go i miss the old you i miss the old you listen to me listen to me you must stand firm on the word of god and you must walk in obedience to the living god the lord is taking you somewhere and you know whoever this word is for right now okay you may be experiencing some type of stagnation from where you are currently at right now and you know i say where you are currently at this may be a physical thing okay the lord is putting on my spirit this is a physical thing but it's not just physical it's spiritual because everything spiritual manifests outwards and you know from the spirit to the soul to the flesh and you you need to understand that you know as long as you keep trying to bring these people into your boat, as long as you allow them access into your life, right? Your ship isn't going to go anywhere. The Lord isn't going to bring a flood of waters to deliver you to this new land where you are going to be blessed abundantly forever, okay? And you are already being blessed, but the Lord is trying to take you somewhere. I'm talking about, you know, 360 turn. I'm talking about, you know supernatural increase he's doing something that you've never seen before and you can't bring these people with you you can't bring these people with you you know physically you can't bring these people with you spiritually because the lord didn't choose them he chose you and by you you know walking in obedience to the living god carrying out your assignment following his instructions right meeting him at your altar every single day by you carrying this out and doing these things, you will reveal the goodness of God to these people that you want to save, okay, that the Lord wants to save. You will reveal the goodness of God to these people that you love and the, 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 the glory of God and, you know, the power of God. You will reveal it to them. But if you continue to allow them into your life, to allow them access, they genuinely are not going to understand what you are doing what you're talking about or why because you are stuck and you are bound but the lord has set you free so you must deny yourself pick up your cross and follow jesus when they contact you and decide to dismiss you when they contact you and decide to dismiss you know your choices and your decisions okay and your surrender to the living god it's time to cut them off okay because they don't respect you okay and you must respect yourself you must respect jesus you must respect the grace that he has placed upon your life the favor okay now i love you guys so so much you are shining so bright right now okay 
you look completely different. You don't even understand how people are looking at you. Okay. You're standing bright. That the, the spirits inside of them, they're irritated. You probably see them manifesting competitive spirits, prideful spirits. All of these spirits. You see, when you start walking in a, of your authority and walking in the spirit and walking in obedience to the living God, the devil will firstly manifest through the people closest to you to keep you bound. Okay. Ignore it. Don't wrestle. Don't go back and forth. Ignore it. Carry on. They may say that you are mentally ill. They may say psychotic episode. Some of us, you know, by grace, we're placed into the spirit immediately when you were chosen. You know, it's not even by, you know, trying, by fasting, by praying. No, like some of us are just placed into the spirit. And that's just by grace. And, you know, whoever this word is for, you have been chosen. Okay. And, you know, the Lord is saying, ignore them. Okay. They didn't believe you. They, they can't even believe their eyes. Now, I love you guys so much, okay? Oh my gosh, what is this? I love you guys so, so much, okay? Um, if this word is for you, please comment down below and connect with this word in the comment section. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord continues to strengthen you, favor you, and have his hand over your life. He has his hand over your life, okay? You see, the Bible says that nobody can snatch my children out of my hand. Nobody can snatch you out of your father's hand. Okay, listen to me. Nobody can snatch you out, but they will try. They will certainly try because they want you wrapped around their finger. Okay, they want you serving their purpose. They want you prospering them. They want you increasing them. Okay, and you know, the Lord is saying it's your time to shine, baby. So shine bright. Okay, keep on going. Reveal the goodness of God to these people as you should okay and don't let anybody dim your light or drag you back now I love you guys so much peace love and blessings shalom